Hello, this is Tommy with Saul. I just finished up the script. I don't have any actors <clears throat> yet, so I'm going to have to just read it myself. I hope you don't mind. I do have the soundtrack ready, though, so more or less, this is what I expect the movie to be like. I hope you enjoy. Hi, babe. I have something for you. What is it? Just a little something. I playfully hide the package, then present it to Lisa. She opens it to find the red dress. Johnny is beautiful. Thank you. Can I try it on now? Sure, it's yours. Wait right here. She then grabs my tie and kisses me. I'll try it on right now. I sit down, and then it cuts to Lisa re-emerging from the stairs in a red dress. Wow, you look so sexy, Lisa. Isn't it fabulous? <laughs> I would do anything for my girl. And then enters Denny. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, hi, Denny. Wow, look at you. It's from Johnny. Anything for my princess. Ha <laughs> ha How much was it? Denny, don't ask a question like that. Nice to see you, Denny. I'm going to take a nap. Can I go upstairs too? <laughs> Denny, I think I'm gonna join him. <laughs> they exit upstairs, speaking barely audibly. Lisa, I've got some candles upstairs. You always think. <laughs> All right, I'm very... <laughs> I can't do an entire script. This is gonna take forever. But we'll try, we'll try. Where was I? <clears throat> this is so pretty. I can't wait for you to get it off me. Oh, yeah. Denny takes a bite of an apple and follows them upstairs. In the bedroom, Johnny and Lisa start a pillow fight. <laughs> Incomprehensible gibberish. <laughs> Ouch. Denny joins in and gets clobbered as everyone laughs. <laughs> no, stop. I gotta start the next track, it could take a minute. Oh, here it is. Where was I? Denny, do you have something else to do? I just like to watch you guys. Oh, Denny, Denny, Denny boy. Denny, two's great, but three's a crowd. <laughs> I get it, you guys want to be alone. That's the idea. Fine, I have homework to do anyway. Bye, lovers. Bye, Danny. Bye, Danny. I say it twice because that's me and Lisa at the same time. Danny exits and a three minute love scene commences, scored to ter uh, great R&B. There's a lot of water and rose petals and naked boobs. Johnny blanks Lisa's belly button. Afterwards, they lie awkwardly in bed together and Lisa seems bored with Johnny as he sleeps. She's not really bored. The alarm clock goes off at 28. Johnny gets up, smells of rose, and bears his bottom to the camera. Oh, I gotta start the next track. This actually should have been earlier. This is the track that went with the scene right before. Just imagine it in your head. I would edit it, but that takes too much effort. So just imagine it, you know. Uh, so he emerges from the bathroom. I emerge from the bathroom, dressed for work and greet Lisa. Did you like last night? Yes, I did, she says. Ha 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 ha. Can I get you anything? Uh-huh. I have to go now. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, really, I should just skip this track, but you get the idea. I'm going to skip this track. This track is titled Lisa and Mark because it includes me and Lisa. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not Mark. I just like to say Mark. I apologize. I drink a lot for this role. Where was I? We could just start again. Oh, here it is. 
so it cuts to an exterior daytime shot of the house, then to the living room. Lisa answers the door and Claudette enters. Hi mom, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Hmm, okay, let's go to the couch and we will sit down. Now, what's happening with you, hmm? Nothing much, do you want some coffee? What's wrong, tell me. I'm not feeling good today, but why not? I don't love him anymore. Why don't you love him anymore? Tell me. He's so boring. You've known him for over five years. You're engaged. You say you love him. He supports you. He provides for you. And you, darling, you can't support yourself. He's a wonderful man. He loves you very much. And this person is very secure. And he told me plans to buy a house for you. That's why he's so boring. What are you going to do? I don't know. I don't mind living with him. Oh, the track. I have to change the track. This one's called You're My Rose. It doesn't really fit this scene. It's about cancer. But I don't know where the right one is, so we'll just have to go with it. Where was I? <clears throat> well, you can't do that. Have you talked to him about it? <clears throat> no, I don't know what to do. Well, he's a wonderful person, and he's getting a promotion very soon. Now he bought you a car, he bought you a ring, clothes, whatever you wanted. And now you want to dump him? That's not right. I've always thought of him as my son-in-law. You should marry Johnny. He will be good for you. I guess you're right about that. Well, of course I'm right. I know men. I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> Glad you're listening to your mother. Nobody else listens to me. You're probably right about that, Mom. Well, I'm glad you're listening to your mother. Listen, I've got to go, but you remember what I told you, okay? Mm-hmm. Bye-bye now. Claudette exits. Thanks, Mom. That was sarcastically. I don't know how to do sarcasm. I'm from Poland. The same room, later that day, Lisa picks up the phone and Mark answers on the other end. Hello. Hey, baby, how you doing? Oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm very busy. What's going on? I just finished talking to my mom. She gave me this big lecture about Johnny. Look, we'll talk about it later. I told you I'm very busy. We'll talk about it now. Whenever you say we'll talk about it later, we never do. I can't wait until later. I want to talk right now. You owe me anyway. Okay, all right. What do you want to talk about? She's a stupid bitch. She wants to control my life. I'm not going to put up with that. I'm going to do what I want to do and that's it. What do you think I should do? I mean, why do you ask me, you know? You're very happy with Johnny and what do you want me to say? I mean, you should enjoy your life. What's the problem, huh? Maybe you're right. Can I see you tomorrow? Okay, all right. How about noon? I'll be waiting for you. Bye. All right, see you. Cut to gratuitous footage of a cable car in downtown San Francisco. We got to change the track. Hmm. This one works. It's once again. Uh, we not. It's not the right track, but we we'll go with it. Okay. Back in the room, Lisa answers the door and Mark enters. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, come in, have a seat. They are silent while she pours wine and offers it. Thank you, it's hot in here. She unbuttons the top of her blouse. Do you mind? No. Lisa approaches Mark in a strapless black dress. I mean the candles, the music, the sexy dress. I mean, what's going on here? I like you very much, lover boy. What are you doing this for? What's the matter? Don't you like me? I'm your girl. Johnny's my best friend. You're going to be married next month. Come on. Forget about Johnny. This is between you and me. I don't think so. I'm leaving now. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. I need you. I love you. I don't want to get married anymore. I don't love Johnny. I dream about you. I need you to make love to me. Now, if there are any children in the room, please step out. This is incredibly tiring. I can't even believe I'm doing this right now. There's like fucking people in the next room. I've got shit to do.